In this video we're learning how to graph quadratic functions in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now when we graph these functions there are five things that we need to find first and I've listed them below. So what we're going to do is graph the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 6. Now the first thing we are asked to find is the direction of the parabola. Now when we say direction, we're saying is it an upward facing parabola or is it a downward facing parabola? Now you may remember that our function is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. You might notice that a is 2, b is negative 8, and c is 6. Now when you want to know the direction of the parabola, you just look at what a equals. a is 2. To be more specific, it's positive 2. It's a positive number, which means that it's an upward facing parabola. So when a is positive, it's an upward facing parabola. And when a is negative, it will be a downward facing parabola. I'll show you what this looks like on Desmos. Here a is positive, it's positive 2, and we have our upward facing parabola. If I put a negative to the left of the 2, it becomes a downward facing parabola. Next we need to find the y-intercept. Now I've mentioned in previous videos that the best way to find the y-intercept is to make x equal 0. And after making x equal 0, we then find y. So I'm going to take my function here and replace x with 0. So f of 0 will be 2 times 0 squared minus 8 times 0 plus 6. Now you might remember whenever you multiply by 0 things will cancel and the only thing left over will be the 6. So we get f of 0 equals 6 meaning that our y-intercept is the point 0 comma 6. Now some of you may have noticed a shortcut. When we look at our function c equaled 6 and that's the same as our y-intercept. And whenever functions are in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c, c will always be the same as your y-intercept. Next, we need to find our x-intercepts. Now, earlier, to find our y-intercept, we made x equal 0. To find our x-intercepts, we simply need to make y equal 0. Now we need to be careful with that comment where I say I need to make y equals 0 because when you look at the function it doesn't say y equals, it says f of x equals. So instead of saying make y equals 0, we need to write make f of x equals 0. Which means we're taking the function 2x squared minus 8x plus 6 and we're saying that it equals 0. We then solve for x. Now finding the x-intercepts is quite a time-consuming task. It's something I'm going to go into more detail in the next video where we complete some examples. For now I'm just going to give you the answer and we can see it when we look at the graph of our parabola. We have two x-intercepts at 1 comma 0 and at 3 comma 0. So on our graph we're going to label 1 comma 0 and we're also going to label 3 comma 0. Those are our x-intercepts. You may have noticed that the x-intercepts are also known as zeros. Why do you think that is? Well, in order to find the x-intercepts, we need to make the function equal 0. And when you look at each x-intercept, they both have a y-value of 0. Hence, why x-intercepts are also known as zeros. Next we need to find the axis of symmetry. Once you've found the x-intercepts, the axis of symmetry is quite easy. The axis of symmetry will always be halfway between the x-intercepts. So when we look at our x-intercepts, we can see that our 
axis of symmetry is our imaginary dotted line, like so. And we can see that it passes through the point where x equals 2. 2 is halfway between 1 and 3. So we need to write the equation of our axis of symmetry here. We simply write the equation x equals 2. Next, we need to find the vertex. Now, the vertex is commonly known as the turning point. When we look at the graph, it's this point down here at the bottom. You might notice that the vertex lines up with the axis of symmetry. It lines up where x equals 2. So the vertex will have the same x value as the axis of symmetry. Once we know the x value for the vertex, it's really easy to find the y value. We simply substitute our value of 2 into our function. So f of 2 will be 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 6. And when you work this out, you'll get negative 2. So our vertex exists where x equals 2 and y equals negative 2. So we'll label on our graph the point 2, comma, negative 2. You'll notice we now have four points which the parabola must pass over. It's at this point it becomes nice and easy to sketch our parabola. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video where we listed five things you need to do before sketching a parabola. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.